Hello there, fellow space captains. It's Connor, and welcome back to another fractured space ship overview. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right, so now with that out of the way, we're going to be having a look at the USR stealth ship, the Ghost. Right, and now this is um, it's a very, very, very brittle ship, but it can do. A massive amount of damage, but it is the definition of a glass cannon. Right, so first we'll go over how it looks visually, some of the skins, that type of thing, and at the moment I'm using the Phantom skin, which is my favourite. It has some cool uh, jump effects, kind of gets covered in shadows and darkness, black matter, dark matter, that type of thing. Pretty cool. We have the Rokat, which is similar to the Destroyers, let me see... Where are you, Destroyer? There you are, you sexy beast. Similar to the Ares skin on the Destroyer. Right. So, it, it looks pretty good, but, um, yeah, we also have the, you know, normal skins. The Neptune, Nessu, Type G, and then the default skin, which is pretty nice. But, for this game, and this overview, we're going to be having a look at the Phantom. And playing with the Phantom skin. So, right. Now, uh, my personal recommendations and thoughts on this ship it's a ship I'm playing more and more mainly because it it's the perfect ambush ship and it's perfect for taking down other attack craft as well as healers support craft that type of thing uh, against heavier targets it's really not ideal but it can hold its own against uh, other attack craft as well as support craft but anyway uh, in comparison, health-wise, or hull strength, to other uh, stealth ships, such as the um, Basilisks, the Black Widow, you know, um, the Infiltrator, it actually has less health. This has uh, 7,000 hull strength, whereas, let me just show you, so where are we? Where is the Basilisk? Uh, so, you'll see that it has 8,000 hull points, which is nice. But, uh, yeah, the actual Ghost only has 7,000. Now, let me have a look at the speed real quick. So, yeah, the Ghost is faster, though. Significantly faster than the Black Widow, but uh, the Basilisk is fast in its own right. And the Infiltrator, where are you? Right, the Infiltrator is 8,000 whole strength again with uh, 614 speed, which is, you know, it's okay, but um, the Ghost does have it beaten on speed, at least, so, here we are. Right, now let's have a look at its loadout, and just have a brief overview of how the thing actually works, and the abilities that help it work, so, the first ability and your only damage dealing ability are your rockets. So you have three different uh, possible loadouts for your rockets. You have the ghost rockets, which are just your default ones you start off with. You have the plasma caster, which, you know, does damage over time, that type of thing, uh, weakens armor. And then you have the heavy rockets, which, you know, there are less of them, but they do a lot more damage, which I'm using at the moment, because I just personally prefer them. So the max range for these rockets are 6,000 meters. The... Ghost Rockets, the default loadout, comes with 16, and the base damage per missile, or rocket, sorry, is 70 PPD. The base cooldown is 10 seconds, so you can use them, well, frequently. Not really, you know, all the time, but frequently enough to where you're actually doing sustained damage to the enemy. Uh, the Plasma Caster, it does 50 PPD, so that's uh, 50 damage per hit and then it does uh, an additional 70 damage over time and it also has a 10 second cooldown the heavy rockets you only get half of the 16 you get eight now these do uh just over double the damage of the normal rockets and then some more so they are nicer overall i think they do 150 ppd that's damage and the cooldown again is 10 seconds Right, now the most important ability on this ship in combination with your rockets is Ambush. Now Ambush uh, for 8 seconds on a certain targeted enemy ship increases damage done to that enemy ship by 200%. Now 
base cooldown for this ability is 20 seconds and it is important that you use it in combination with the rockets otherwise you're not doing it right this is the most important ability on this ship and when we get into a game you'll see why so the esr ambush system emulates the sensitivity to energy fluctuations experienced by ships pre-jump the beam overloads the jump jay power output maximizing any damage inflicted during that period so in layman's terms it kind of emulates um the enemy ship uh when it's about to jump to another sector and that's why it does increase damage next we have cloak so yeah it's cloak it's a stealth field that type of thing camo next we have target blink pretty much you can blink to a target but it only has a range of 7500 meters and a cooldown of 20 seconds and lastly you have your decoys so it, it produces a copy of itself which can be used to confuse your enemies or as a beacon to jump to with your target blink which is what i've got set up here so let me see decoy range that i'm using to jump decoy is 7000 meters it lasts for 15 seconds it has a thousand hole points so it can be destroyed but if the enemy are firing on this and they think it's you then well you're safe enough uh, and the base cooldown for this ability is 50 seconds the jump decoy was a variant created after ghost captains began using their decoys as anchors for blink to target allowing them to jump anywhere at short notice the jump decoy allows captains to place a decoy at the far range of their relocation range allowing them to make maximum use of this blink to target strategy and this has saved me quite a few times now something you do learn the more you play a fractured space is when an enemy uses the decoy if you're not playing the ghost itself it's it's very simple and easy to know when an enemy has deployed a decoy because they don't move they don't fire back they're completely idle so something to keep in mind but anyway let's get ourselves into a game as quickly as possible and see what damage we can get done let's go all right so here we are conquest of course what else let me see Alpha, beta, alpha, let's go to beta. So, just to introduce our team here. So, we've got Franz Xavier in the Black Widow, the Saxe ship. Crusher 48 in the Destroyer, Saxe ship. Major Slacker in the Sentinel, unfortunate ship. And Fezes in the Paladin, holy ship. Uh, got ourselves a bit of action. No, they're not. Let me see. Um, Albor Talek in the Pioneer. <laughs> Pioneer. And Kalze in the Raven, Sir Balin in the Balin in the Protector, Neon Kiki in the Sentinel, and Wolfsbane in the Gladiator. Oh, the Gladiator! All right, let's uh, perform a few stunts for the audience, eh? Huh? Huh? Hello, little Protector. Do you like to be attacked from behind? Because that is what happens when you heal. No mercy. No mercy whatsoever. ever. Finish him. Oh, he's so low. Ram him. Yeah, Ram kill. Get in. I'm coming for you now, Mr. Sentinel. Gotcha. Two kills. Going strong. There we go. Not doing too, ba too badly. A pioneer could become a problem, though. Take that out. That buoy or boy. I always feel like a chav or something or some obnoxious like American brew when I say boy. What a boy! You know that type of thing. Right, locked on the pioneer. Time for a little bit of revenge. Somebody finish him, please. Unless I can get a run in. Doubt it though, he's uh, not a slow ship by any means. There we go, he's taken down. Oh, and we've got an enemy convoy rolling in on our ass here. Which, of course, is never good. Jump decoy. There we go, good stuff. How do you get a pioneer to be the top of the board in kills? 
you don't because it's a fan here. <laughs> uh, poor Duke at the um, Pioneer's expense there. Good stuff. Alright, attack. We're trying this game on that day. Because a lot of people have recently been, well, it's the same couple of guys actually, have been jumping from video to video and saying I'm crap at the game. And I'm not like a uh, Kiker or Kurt good. Uh, but I believe I'm not that bad, honestly. I have a, a very good understanding of how the game works. And my next target is that uh, protector. Sentinel can wait because it's um, weak sauce. Ah, uh, he rotated just. You jump off, will you? Bugger off, Sentinel. Right, rockets recharged or reloaded. Another one bats the dust. <sighs> oh shit, Gamma. Right, it seems our team are jumping into Gamma also. Let's go. Cloak engaged. Let's see if we can surprise a couple of these guys. Now, one thing you don't want to do while in Gamma is have your cloak up. At least, if, at least not if the enemy have a um, superior number in the cap circle, because that is uh, never good. Perform a jump there just to avoid dying. Because that's not good either. Minimal damage done to the pioneer because we don't have ambush enabled. It's going to change soon. Surprise! I appeared from exactly where I was a second ago. And what have we got? Who else is around here? Oh, Rutoff, I love you. Bye. He's a mental robot, isn't he? Oh, no, we're not. He'll be running dead in a second. Oh, <laughs> that damage! Oh, that's working in unison, that is. I have enough time. Because the gladiator is the gladiator, it has a shit ton of health. I can wait for the ambush to recharge before I fire off heavy rockets, but... I should be able to get two heavy rockets up before the ambush reloads. Now one of them won't be as powerful as the second, but regardless, one of them's still going to be pretty powerful. Right. Now what I need to do here is get into our forward operating base and level up. It's the mo most important thing that needs to be done right now. Guys, why are y'all jumping here? That's the most annoying and infuriating thing in this game is that people just don't use what's in front of them. They don't. I mean, look at them. Nobody's responding to what I've just written. Now hopefully... Oh, crap. He, he got hit hard there. Now, Pioneer, you might be in your little detection range, but I can still hit you like a like a bruiser by... So don't you even think about moving. Jumping in because Ambush is ready. You see how much health he got back there because of the long reload time in these weapons. But now he's out of it, so... Next one will land him. Ah, there we go. Good stuff, Sentinel and Paladin. Get this base captured and get another point into attack for good measure. Just fire rockets at everything. You know it would be a cool a cool game. Like a capital ship game. 
Um, a game where you're not just fighting other capital ships. A game where you have to, pro to provide us, you know, multiple different rules in said game with your capital ship. You can choose whatever type of capital ship you want, and you can fulfill different rules, such as uh, bringing troops to a planet to deploy and invade or reinforce the army attacking there. Uh, a carrier, of course. So you sit on the uh, sidelines of the battle, just launching fighters and bombers, interceptors, that type of thing, supporting your team. Or, you know, capital ships that um, bombard planets, that type of thing. I mean, it's all just ship versus ship, which is cool. But uh, ever since playing Knights of the Old Republic 1, when Malak just completely demolishes Taras, I've always wanted to just blow a planet up. That might make me insane. If it does, it does. Can't argue with a bit of genocide, can you? Especially when it's for the Empire, or the Sith. Can't beat the Sith. Why is nobody looking at the map? That guy just jumped into Alpha. Not even paying attention. Protector's going down. Of course, he's got his little aura up, so... He's taking less damage. Doesn't bother me. I'll get him eventually. Three, two, one. There. Slowly but surely. Next target is the Sentinel. Ho <laughs> ho ho! Destroyed! Now, Gladiator, I'm terrified of you. Come on, outmaneuver him. Come on. Wait for him to jump, and then I'll hit him. Oh, I've got reinforcements, no problem. As soon as he starts attacking that, uh, my ally. There we go, his missiles are out. Unleash the full rocket salvo. He's not going for me, is he? Dude, focus on the Sentinel. It's, this ship is sexy. Even a mothership couldn't love the Sentinel's face. Come on, somebody help me. Oh, there we go. There's the Paladin. Oh, yeah. We're cleaning up here. Notice how slow the reload is on the ghost and how important it is that you land every hit if you possibly can. It counts more for this ship than any other in the game. It's so important. Okay. Jump into Gamma and then I'll jump back to Beta and start capturing uh, the rest of those mines. If we're able to do that, that would be pretty cool. Going for the Protector once again. Initially initiating jump, moving him behind the. Come on, I want to get the protector so I can drop my cloak. There we go. Slow them down from cabinet. There we go. Target down. Oh, come on, guys. Wake up. What are you doing, a beta? Seriously? Jumping just to make myself a little bit harder to hit. Ah, come on. Point defense is up, but uh, too little, too late. Who is that? You know this whole culture today where you can't insult anybody or even ask them simple questions without them getting incredibly upset? I asked a guy last week in Fractured Space um, if he spoke English. Now, I don't do that to insult them or berate them, but it's nice to know if somebody, if they're not replying to you, whether they speak English or, you know, another language. That's a, a barrier that can't be avoided. But if they're just not replying, then that's... Um, it's a team game, bruh. Play as a team. And it probably is a bot. I wish there was a way to tell, because honestly, 
The parts I have witnessed haven't been that good. Yeah, elevate. Pushing forward with our sentinel. How is he doing? Oh, he's doing as good as I am. Major Slacker, I had a good feeling about him at the start. Major Slacker, if you're watching this, good job, bye. Especially for the sentinel. You're doing well. Jumping in, going for the gladiator. Why did my blink not work? Nay. Nay. Oh, that's not a good idea. Close quarters, right blink. In case cloak. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, see what I mean about this ship being a glass cannon? That's... Oh dear, oh dear. Long wait for the ambush. Ambush up! Ah, damn it! What is that paladin doing? I wish bots didn't exist. There was a problem with people dropping out of the game, but get another player in, don't. I wouldn't mind joining the game half halfway through, even if I was on the losing team. At least then you feel great. Whenever you do turn it around or help your team turn it around. These bots are just beyond useless. Are they even bots though? How do you tell? There's people saying, oh, it's a bot. And I don't know how they know that. One of the enemy disconnected. That would make up for us having a bot. So it's uh, 4v4 now. Jumping into beta again to support. Uh, is that Major Slacker again? It is indeed. On my way to support Major Slacker. Gamut in two minutes. Need to remember that. What have they got? Sentinel. Oh, they've got three ships. Okay, that's not a good idea. Okay. If anyone ever wanted a tip on how to be good at this game, every other sack, and you should be looking at the mini map. You know, trying to make out what's going on. This is going to be a bit dangerous. Don't know if I'm going to get my cloak up in time. But I needed that attack. It would be a major benefit. Come on. You know what? I think one of these guys might... Well, the Pioneer is the major threat here. Oh, there he goes. Shit. Why is my jump not working? Or is somebody disabling it? But that's twice. Doesn't work when I'm jumping to the decoy. Is there something negative on my ship? Uh, I can't tell me I'm dead. Spawn, 20 seconds to go. The only two actually contributing here are myself and Major Slacker. Just because you're getting kills doesn't mean shit. It's where you're getting those kills and when you're getting those kills that matters. Here. 
think they might try to jump into beta or they're going to jump directly to RBS. Anyway, still need to take this FOB back. Yep, there they go. Come on. Get jumped. Engaging cloak. Oh, behind me. What is it? Raven? Let's try this again. There we go, now it works. <laughs> Surprise, bitch! No, I don't want to surrender. Why would you surrender? Take the armor off this cloud eater. That'll make it a lot easier to you know, punish him a bit. And because it's cloud eater, the best position to be is directly above or directly below. Which health has he got left? Ah, okay, this is dangerous. Can I jump to any of these guys? No. Shit. Need to get some health back. Oh god. Defense up. Oh, that last missile just ripped me apart. Trying to give Slacker there a few words of encouragement. Okay, we've cleared our base. We're already level 9, so no more need for mines. So now I can pull some tricky maneuvers. Alright, jumping into beta. Get wrecked. Right, the other two guys were talking at the start of the game, now they just completely went silent. My oh, Fez's bot or guy is useless. How is it possible that bots are worse than most players? That's like some twisted crap right there. Oh, hello, protector. Engaging cloak, because I'm go Oh, dear God. Hello, sexy. <laughs> Good stuff, slacker. Good going, bud. That's how we do it. Right, check out these damn turret defenses. Because they are a pain in the ass. Defense up, let's try and finish this pioneer. No. 
Who is that? Crusher again. Why do people just not have a clue what's going on around them? I love this game. I love it to bits. But unlike in Dreadnought, where if one of your allies just isn't up to par, it doesn't mean you'll lose the game. In this game, it does. I mean, look at this. He's going there alone. What? Okay, some supports on their way in now. I hope the paladin jumps. Come on, paladin. Maybe pinging the map will allow it to jump in or give it some sort of hint. Seriously, come on. Not letting these guys down. Even if I had to get a few cheeky kills from derpers jumping out, I don't care. Get racked. Finish him. Good. Go on by. There we go. Protector's jumping out. Jumping, getting above him, come on. Point defense, look at how hard it is for him to hit me now. Just keep maneuvering so we're staying on top of him. Shit, pan here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Crap. Ah, shut up, Maru. What do you know? Alright, okay. I'm not sure if you can report, can you? That paladin is beyond. I mean, let me see how many supports he's got. Six. At this point in the game. Seriously? Well, that's no good at all. That's no good. Going to Alpha with uh, our Black Widow here. I find it really difficult to lead the shot whenever um, they're moving up or down. See what I mean? And unlike in Dreadnought, aiming in this is just perfect. Oh, you jammy get. Well, I'm not going for a nice boosting off. Oh, wow, he is taking so little damage from that, even with ambush on him. Come on, jump, 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 for the love of God, jump! No, 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 come on, come on, come on. I cannot jump home like this. And neither can he. Can't let him be right above me because that's a terrible arc for me to fire on him. What I'll do, I'll let him take the base, think that I'm gone, and then I'll jump on him. Turrets hold the pieces. Like so. And then miss every shot because I'm terrible at aiming. Fucking grip. Jumping home. Oh, 
well, at least the Sentinel got his ass kicked right here. Their protector's only got one support? What? <laughs> okay, wrecked. Yeah, I'm gonna follow meter slacker around. I really appreciate that the guy just didn't, you know, go AFK. Because without him, we'd be done. Yeah. Something I just want to point out is that it is incredibly warm here today. It's like um, Satan's sweaty crevice. I mean, I am dripping with sweat. That's how warm it is. Usually, I would have the fan on, but because it um, disturbs and makes the audio pretty terrible, I decided against that today. Don't go to Gamma. Well, they're taking Gamma. I'll take their forward base. Done. Okay. It's time for the shoe to be on the other foot. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Jump in. No enemy presence. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Slacker. We got this, bro. Finish him off. Come on, Slacker. Get him, bro. There we go. I hate it. Name sent it more than anybody. My defense up. Uh, too little, too late. There. Guys, look at our. Come on, Crusher Anthem. Destroyer versus Gladiator. Who will come out on top? Gladiator, obviously. Because. The gladiator. Well, that didn't end too well for um, Crusher. Well, that looks pretty cool. Bug there. Station disappeared. Come on, respawn, damn it. Where's the second one? Come on, come on, come on. Oh no, why did I jump the gamma? Why did I jump the gamma? I'm an idiot. I just lost us the game. No, I wouldn't have jumped in time anyway. Oh shit. Right. Right, just uh, informing Crusher about the big daddy of the game. And why it's superior to everything else. Because it blows everything else out of space. Turns them into space dust. I've also, I mean, you guys have witnessed it, taken down many a gladiator and my destroyer. Just depends on how you're operating the ship. And he wasn't at full health anyway whenever he engaged them. Gladiator was at about 90%, he was about 60 odd. Right, so there we go. Uh, <laughs> lost 6 MMR, isn't that, isn't that cute? Um, 
But anyway, there we go. 24 kills. Unfortunately, 7 deaths. So, didn't get the 1 or the 0 that I intended. But, suffice to say, better than I anticipated. Although, it was a loss. So, um, these three guys run a party here. Well played. And Major Slacker, if you ever do watch this video, then um, thanks for sticking around. And, uh, yes, I want to thank you all very, very much for uh, watching the video and sticking around. Just let me know what you think of the ghost below. Because I, as you saw, I can do well in it, but the aiming kind of throws me off. Now and again, it's just whenever they're moving fast. Uh, at a, like an awkward angle. I just can't land the hits. Uh, how do you guys feel? But anyway, thank you all very much for watching. And uh, of course, like always, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.